Hello guys and um, welcome back to another tutorial. I know it's been a while since I made a tutorial, so I'm back now. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to draw um, the lips. So I've gotten this request from people on how I make my lips. So I've already made my eyes. Sorry, I did not make a tutorial on that, but. I have a full tutorial I'm working on on how to shade as a beginner. So this tutorial is going to be covering the pro aspect. But I'll be making a tutorial on how to draw as a beginner. So just stick with me and hopefully you learn something. So as you can see, I already have my base color for both the upper lips and the lower lips. And if you come over here, let's close this. I already have the layers. This is the upper lips and this is the lower lips. So if I to toggle this off, you can see. And this is the lower lips. So let's move this to a separate layer. So this is the upper lips. So first thing you want to do is to get your base color. And you can always sample this from the original image. So Select this and toggle it off so you can see. So you can always sample this the color from the original image. If you want to sample the color for your lips, avoid the highlights. Come over to here where you have your shadow, then just pick from somewhere here. always adjust till you get what you want double click on this try not to go too dark somewhere here and you increase the saturation a little bit so that is how to get your color let's just create a um, shape with it So you can either use this color, I can swap this to this. Now you really don't have to mind how it looks for now. When you add your shade, it's going to look nice. But I don't want to use this particular color. So I'll be going with this. You can always adjust your colors anytime to get what you want. So let's just increase the saturation a bit. Alright, I think this works for me. Now, now that we have our base color, I just showed you how to get your base color. Now that we have it, the next thing you want to do is start adding your shading. So, I use the pencil tool for this. I'm using a drawing tablet, so if you're using a mouse, it might be different for you. Um, First thing you want to do is to know where to start. For some people, they might decide to start with the shadow, that's the dark part, then work their way to the highlight. But for me, I like to start with the mid tone and then down to the shadow, then back to the highlight. It sounds a little bit um, stressful, but that is how I do it. So, where is your mid tone? After your highlights, you have your mid tone and then you have your shadow. <clears throat> now, this is going to vary with the number of layers you're working on. So, if you're working on, um, if you're working with, let's say, 10, 8 layers. Your shadow might be just two or three. Your mid tone might be, let's say four. And then you have just one highlight or two. Just depending on how many you're going to be working on. So for me, I'm, just, I'm going to be starting with my mid tone. So this is the highlight. 
So I'll be avoiding this for now. This is where my mid tone falls. So any color I feel like is similar to this, that's where I'm going to be drawing now. So you have to just add style to it, don't just draw it the way it is. You can see what I'm doing, just follow it the way it is, and um, yeah. All right, so I think every other color here, let me switch this. I think every other color here is similar to this. I don't know if you can, me. so I'll just trace this back. To make it a closed shape. Now we we'll have to give it a color. I think this is too black for me. Let me let me increase the saturation a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. So I drop out to pick this color. Control H on your keyboard to hide the edges. So now when you want to pick, <coughs> excuse me, when you want to pick your color for the mid tone, do not go far. Like when I mean far, do not go down, down. Just somewhere here. And I always pick my color diagonally. Um, try to make how do I put it? Try to make an imaginary line from this white point down to this dark point. But it has to go through the color you're working on. That's the trick on how to pick a very nice color. So if this should go like this, so that means I have to pick a color that is somewhere here. Alright. I hope you see how it looks now. So this is okay. You can always adjust so long as it's selected. Control H to review your edges if you feel like you're not really seeing what you're doing. Um, yeah. So we'll have that. Next thing we want to do is to smoothen out this color. For me, this looks okay, but I have to make it blend well. So I'm going to be adding another color shade on top of this. So remember to follow the pattern of the leaves the way it is. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So just follow it the way it is and um, make sure it's okay. There is no specific way to do this. Just draw whatever you see or whatever comes to your mind. Try to keep your hands steady and avoid the highlights, please. Else you'll be having a totally different lips from the one you have. So anywhere you see the highlight, this very bright part, avoid it. All right, so I guess we're done with that. Trace that back. Don't worry about the excesses. I added it for a reason, so I'll show you how to easily cut things off that you don't need. So let's fill it with color. Control H to hide your <coughs> edges. Now you can see the new distinct. But it has the same color with this. No, remember we said we are going to be smoothing out. So this next one you made, just reduce the opacity. I always like to use 50 hit enter sorry this the first one we just made drag it down control h okay let me undo that i feel i was a little bit fast there all right so we need this first one we just made now so select it control h to 
reveal your edges so that you you'll be sure that that's the one you selected. Reduce the opacity by 50%. So I hope you see how it looks now. I think this is way, way better for me. Now, you can just... I want this to be below the first one we made. So that we can easily select this. So, I've said this in my previous tutorial, but I'll still say it again. Let's say you're working on the pencil tool and you want to select something without having to go to the selection tool. Just hold control on your keyboard and then with your mouse or with whatever it is you're drawing with, click on that particular layer. So let's say if it's this, click on it, it will select it while still using the pencil tool. So that's just a bonus tip I just felt like I needed to share. So select this, you can just adjust a few points here. Um, yeah, somewhere here. Now there's something I, I've always mentioned in my tutorials about negative space. Always make sure that the space between a color layer and the next is not too is not too wide and is not too neat. Now the reason for this is just so your picture looks okay. If you make it too near, you might not really notice the colors and it will look somehow odd. If you make it too wide, it's going to be too obvious that okay, this is what you did here. Like the colors are going to be too obvious that they are apart. So you don't want that. Okay. Um, next thing, uh, just adjust this. It's not a much that you are just so if you don't want you can always leave it the way it is but i just feel like i need to adjust this a little bit i've made these shapes already the reason i'm adjusting it with ease is because if you double click on your pencil tool you can see that edit selected part is ticked if it's not ticked you cannot adjust so long as it's ticked once i select this i can go to any part i want and simply adjust it so i have that already now the next thing you want to do is to select where you want to continue with but before that i told you we have to get rid of these excesses so first thing you want to do is change this to a compound shape the reason for changing it is when i so that when i cut out this excess part it will not end up creating a new shape now this happens not often let me show you what i mean let's say i select everything now i want to cut out this and remember the the first one we made is selected the second one is selected then our base color is selected nothing we are not considering the, the, the lower leaves for now so you come over to this shape builder tool you can get it with shift m on your keyboard now if i hover around this you can see is giving which means i can if i cut out this is showing me the places that will go out now i can join this and make it a full shape let me show you you can see this now a full shape now watch what happens here you can see that it's created like new shapes that we do not want so ctrl z so undo that first thing you want to do make this a compound shape now select this just hit ctrl 8 on your keyboard ctrl 8 on your keyboard it will turn into a compound shape now if i select everything if i should make this a full shape you can see that it's only one extra this thing that i created and this is because i'm adding i can making this a full shape let's undo that now if I want to remove, hold Alt on your keyboard, then go over to the places you want to remove and just drag over it. Now it will remove those parts without creating any new shape. So you still have your shapes and then what it does is that instead of having to create those new shapes individually, it kind of puts it in a compound shape, which if you are to release that compound shape, you will still see those individual shapes there. So that's just it. Um, hold Alt and drag this out. So 
now you see what we're left with okay this looks nice now the next thing you want to do is add you can add your highlight now or your shadow whichever one you want but i prefer the shadow first okay let me adjust this all right so how do you add your shadow let's create a new layer now obviously we are not seeing what we are doing if i say okay let me toggle the base color off i can only add my highlight now but i want to add the shadow so let's just switch this off entirely this is a new layer now you have to note the places that are dark you have to just note those places that are dark now if you come over here this place is a little bit dark so just map it out follow it exactly the way you see it now someone else might draw this but see a different thing so just follow it exactly the way it is now those places that are dark that's what i'm going to be drawing out now so my speed this up a little bit so i don't end up wasting your time Alright, so um, now that we're done with that, so select everything that we just created now, um, hide edges. Now, there are many ways you can add a new color, but I want to show you a trick I use most times when I don't want to um, start going through the stress of having to find where my color fits. Now come over to edit, make sure it's selected and your edges are heavy so that you see what you're doing. Edit colors, the color with preset and then come over to color harmony. Now this is just a simple way to actually get matching colors while still seeing the way it looks on the artwork. But if you should pick your colors from here by double clicking on this place, you won't know how the color looks until you hit OK. So you can see the values for now. I rarely touch the hue but the saturation and the brightness this is where you're going to focus on I rarely touch this now the first thing you want to do is to know how dark you want to go so let's just say we want to go a little bit dark we have this at 26.67 so let's reduce it by let's say 4 so instead of adding 22 points let's just add make this 22 so click on this and watch what happens here i hope you, see, you can see what we have here so i think this looks okay for me but it's a little bit the, the saturation is a little bit low so let me add this let me just try to it's just a try and error method and see how it looks uh let's make this 65 and see how it looks so i think this works for me but the the brightness is still to is a little bit high let me reduce let me make this 21 yeah i think this works for me so you see how it looks now when you zoom out and then when you zoom in so i just think it's still a little bit high let's make this 20 so you can see the values adjusted themselves let's make this 20. yeah so you might be wondering why i did this the way i did it is because i'm going to be adding another color to smoothing this out so select everything let's group this you can turn it to a compound shape but when you group it's a little bit better make sure it's grouped select your base color go over to your shape builder to hold alt let's reveal our edges hold alt make sure your base color is selected too the thing is going to do that once your base color is selected to make sure it does not exceed your base color so you can see this is our base color the one with um this color and the yellow is the one we just made so hold alt and cut this out come over here we need to cut this too all right so 
notice some things there we have to adjust it so this is where you adjust this particular one make sure it fits into the shape you just made about this thing is always adjusting adjusting how do you adjust trace this and then make sure it connects to the next line simple always add a little bit of freestyle like don't just draw it straight the way it is no so now that we have this we we'll adjust this to a little bit because we're going to be adding a new color to just reduce it a little bit all right so that's it for there now the next thing you want to do is to add a color that is going to smooth this out you can always add the color on top or below since we are going to be reducing the opacity so i think we missed a spot here let's take care of this So the next color we are going to be adding is just to smoothen this out so it looks nice now you can do this remember this is the one we just created since let's just move it here so you see what i'm doing let's leave this new layer now so i have to add a new color layer beneath this so that it smoothens this out so anything I'm doing, this is the color I want to smoothen out. So anything I'm doing has to be below it. This is the color. So I'm going to be adding something beneath this. It has to be in between this and this. So let's start from here. You can use the reference or you can just draw it out. Since you know you're trying to smoothen it out. So you will not really be going that far. So I can see. Alright, you drag this below this, let's group it because we are going to be adding new color layer. Instead of having to reduce the opacity one by one, you can just do it in a group. So select this, um, reduce it by 50%. So the entire group has been reduced by 50%. We will be adding a little bit here just so it doesn't look. So if you get to a point, you stop and trace it back. You don't have to do the entire thing at once. So you drag it into that. This thing automatically reduces the opacity by 50%. Now this is where you have to take your time. Let's adjust this a little bit. We need space for the ones we'll be creating now. So make sure this is selected. You can always toggle this off to check. Alright, so we are just trying to smoothen it out, so follow this pattern, okay, let me adjust this, adjust this too, alright, so we are only trying to smoothen it out, so we have to follow the colors the way it is. The, the aspect of smoothing it out is really easy but getting the main colors before you smoothen it out that's where you have a little bit of issue so it's just with practice then you really understand how this works all right so let's just take this part and trace back so let's just trace back from here you can always switch this to stroke so that you actually see what you're doing we're trying to smoothen it out so I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm just following this shape we made the same way it is but this time around I'm trying to smoothen it out so I have to make 
shapes in between them like this if I close this this way here will be left unattended too so I just have to go in here just make it I'm just creating shapes in between them. That's just all. Let's trace back. Trace back. This might look a little bit confusing, so in the next step, I will just take it slow so that you see what I actually did here. So just trace it back and then. So let's double this off. When I switch this and drag it here, just watch what happens. It looks more better than leaving it this way. So you have to note where you stopped. This is where you stopped. So let me just show you what I was doing there. Something like this. Then I trace it back. Trace this. I hope you see. So you can always adjust any part you feel like. My edges are hidden, that's why it's as if I'm trying like this. Let me review that. Um, make sure it's on top of this. Sorry. So you want to smoothen this line out. You just have to draw new lines in between them and reduce the opacity. That's just it. Just like here now, trying to create a line in between them. So there is no specific way to do this, just draw what you see or the way you feel it's okay for you. So it's all about adding a little bit of freestyle to it. There's no special way of doing it. Make sure it's on this line. Make sure it does not exceed this line. Even if it exceeds, I've shown you how to cut it out, the excesses. Be sure to select your base color. Don't forget, your base color has to be selected too. So, I'm trying to do everything all at once. At least you've seen how to do it. So, you can just add this. Add this. Alright, so let's trace this back. Adding a little bit of freestyle so it doesn't look awkward. Okay, let's cover here. Alright. So I think this is this is the last part. Yeah. Okay. Let's trace it back to the first. This thing you need on this line, your line art is just like the guide, so make sure you don't exceed it. Even if you exceed it, you can always cut it out. All right, let's just add a little bit of freestyle, control H, and then swap this to fill, then drag it down. So, you see how to make your lips look realistic. So, you zoom in and zoom out, it still looks dope. It's just for it's, it's very simple. <laughs> Excuse me. So um you can stop here or you can add more. So we're going to be adding more color shades. So let's toggle this off. Now you need to note where you have um a very dark shadow now. I think we have small hair and then just the hair. So just simple from what you already have just add it's that simple let's reveal our edges so if you're always facing this way maybe you're selecting and then it's showing all these things you can easily lock that particular layer and create a new layer on top then do what you're doing so this is how i want to 
Sim. Alright, then we'll add a little bit here. So select the two, this thing you just made. These are the two shapes you just made. You can group it, you can turn it to a compound shape. So whichever one works for you is, is still okay. Alright, so um, make sure this is selected. Select your base color too. Um, go to the shape builder too, then just cut this off. We don't need it. Alright, select this. Sorry, select the color we just made. Control H to hide your edges. Now you can come over here. <coughs> the disadvantage of picking colors from here, <coughs> excuse me, is that you're not seeing it the way it is. Because if you should pick a color, you have to hit OK. You have to hit OK before you can see what it looks like. But when you come over to edit, edit color, the color will preset and then come to color harmony. Once you reduce this, and with this ticked, the color artwork, you can see how it looks in blue tie. Then you can adjust the um, saturation here. We increase this a bit if it looks too dark. So it's just all about trial and error. But I prefer to input my values. Let's try 15. Um, saturation is too high. Let's reduce this. Let's try 74. Okay. Let me make this 16. So that's just how you do it, and then till you get a color that okay, you feel like this is okay for you. Make sure it's 17. Ah, it's too bright. So 16 works for me. And then the saturation. Let me reduce it by 73. Alright, so I think this is okay for me. So it looks nice. And the next thing is to just add one final color shade. So we just trace this here. It does not have to cut out anything. If your hands are not steady, you can always draw outside the line and then cut it out. So just from here, pick a color, that's it. You don't really have to start. Let's take this to the right. Increase the saturation a bit. I think I'll stick with this. Alright, so that's just it. Now the next thing is to add your highlight. Now how do you do that? Um, let me try not to have a line that is just too smooth. No. So, just add effects to it. It looks more nice that way. You select it. Remember you have to select it first. So I think this looks better for me. Same thing here. Try not to make your lines look too straight. Add a little bit of curve to it. That way it blends well. Alright, so highlights now. So make sure your base color is off. You have to note those places that are really bright. So you can start anywhere. So let's just use a new layer for this so we don't make a mistake. So this place is very bright. So let me just... It's all about diligence. Just be patient with it and then... So... Okay... Let's try here. So just basically you're drawing whatever you're seeing there. Now you don't have to go too far. Just somewhere here. Then you trace it back. My edges are hidden, that's why you're not seeing anything. So control H. Alright. only the places that are really bright so wherever you feel that okay this is bright for me that's the place you're going to be tracing out now all right so 
Um, yeah, so kind of closing in on that. Just draw whatever you feel. This is a bright place. There is no particular place that I feel that okay, this is the place that is really bright, or this is the pattern you have to go with. No. Wherever you feel that okay, this is bright for me, then just trace it out. Remember, I'm not doing everything, just places I feel like they are bright. So that's it. I can always add a few places just so it doesn't look somehow extra. Now <coughs> group this eyedropper to pick your base color, then hide your edges. Now you can always come here. Remember I told you, trace do, like have an imaginary line in your head that runs from this white color down to this black color. So it's going to go through here. So if you're going up somewhere here, then increase your saturation. So you can go with this or fire. I'm sorry, edit, edit color, then come over to color harmony. Now try. Let's see. Let's go with 41. Ah, too dark. Let's try 45. Okay. Now the saturation is a bit high for me. So let me reduce this. Let's try 53. So, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, yeah, that works well for me. So, let me increase this a little bit. Let me just make this 47. Yeah, I think this works perfect. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is to smoothen this out. This is the shape we just this is the um, shapes we just made. Now we need to smoothen this out. You have to create a new color layer beneath it, then reduce the opacity by 50%. That's just a simple trick. Uh, let me this a little bit. Alright, so make sure this is selected. Now you can do it and then bring it below this. Now let me show you what I mean. Let's start here. Freestyling, there's no particular way to do this, just draw whatever it is you feel. This is nice. Alright, so trace it, trace it down. You can always refer back to your picture, but it's not really necessary at this point. Like I've gone too far. Let me take it back. Ctrl H to review your. So you trace it. Just trace it back. That's just all. Then swap this. Bring it down and um. Let's group it because we'll be making more shapes like this. Reduce the opacity of the group by 50%. So you see how it looks now? Looks nice. Then we'll add a few more shapes. Drag it down here. Um, we're adding a few more shapes. So just kind of freestyle so it makes the leaves look real. It's just as simple as that. There's no special trick to this. So this is just how you go about it. Those places that you left then, just fill it up, that's all. Drag this down. Um, yeah. So it's all about taking your time to detail your work, simple. Um, Alright, let's take care of this. Alright. So if you 
can't see what you're doing, just double this. And avoid the lines you've made already. Make sure it's in this layer. Alright, I think that's it. And here. This is just a simple way to detail your picture. Now you'll be adding the final highlight. So you already have your highlight. Just add the color on top of it, that's just it. So make sure this is selected. Just come over here. The simple way, go up a little. Remember to follow this line the way it is, then decrease your saturation a bit. That's all. Heads to height, so you see what you just did. So simple, add new just to make it look more of you. Always refer to your picture to be sure you're adding your highlights at the right place. So you can always check this. Um, know where we have our highlights so that's just it we have our highlight here too but i'll be showing you how to do that so it's all about taking your time to make sure you get it right so this is becoming bulky let me group this let's pick two or one and group ctrl g then select this Select the first one, hold shift, select the last one, just drag it in. That's all. So let's just add more. Add more. Alright. Then that's all for me. Alright. And the last thing you want to do is to add a little bit of highlight here so it doesn't look awkward. Now if you look, this is the last color. This is the color here, but this is where we're going to be adding the highlight. Now after this color, which is still this, this is the color that follows. So select this. Just add your highlight. That's all. Okay. That means it's not this, it's this. So it's simple, wherever you want to add your highlights, always check this here. You can see we have the highlights here, this place is at the top, so that's where you'll be adding it. As simple as that. So you have to focus on this side. So group it and be sure that anything you make, any shape you're going to be making now will be going to this place. So of this so that's how you make a realistic lips in illustrator it's as simple as that uh, remember just the top part so Everything I'm doing, you can see the way I'm grouping my work. So always try to do that. It makes your work a little bit easier. Let's say I want to um, adjust color in a particular place. I can easily do it since everything is in one area. So always adjust to create room for highlights. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think this looks nice. So just put this into this layer. Select everything, drag it down. So this is our upper lips. 
so this is what it looks like now just group everything now for the lower leaves just the same thing select your color and then yeah we're going to be adding this thing to it so this is what our lower leaves looks like all right so just like we did the first thing you want to do is start with your mid tone now this is your highlight so you have to avoid the highlight for now so start with your mid tone Places that you feel like okay, your mid tone falls, please avoid the highlights, else it will ruin the beauty of whatever it is you are working on. Alright, so I think that's it. Select everything. Make sure your base color is not selected. Let's group this. Now we just have to go down a little bit. Let me take that back. Watch. If I said make a line that runs from here down to the bottom. An imaginary line. So I think here this works for me. Um yeah, but it's too, it's too dark for me. So let me reduce my base color a little bit. I think I'll use highlights to show that. Alright, yeah. Let me reduce this a little bit. So. about adjusting you have to keep doing that till you're done with the picture so now that we have this select this select this then just cut out the excess part remember to hold alt just select the ones you want out all right the next thing is to smoothen it out so make sure this color is selected that's the color we're going to be using Anything we're going to be doing has to go in between these two. So you can start anywhere. So I'll be starting here. Ctrl H to review 
here my edges. Try not to make a complex shape. Let me just trace this back. Try not to make a complex shape so it, it does not get confusing for you on how to trace it back. So let me just. Anything I'm doing now is to smoothen out the color I've already made. So I have to draw on top of that color. That is basically what I'm doing. You will notice I'm drawing on top of the color I've already made. Just trace this back. All right. So let's see how it looks like. Drag this down. Switch it back to normal color. Um, the fill, sorry. Group this and then reduce the opacity by fifty percent. You can see how it looks, but I'm not really feeling this. So, the best thing to do is let's switch this back of this for now. Let's reduce this color, so we have to go up. Just go down a bit. Nope. I'm not okay with this. I need the saturation up so okay. it looks to a little bit more. A little bit more. Color theory is not easy. Alright, yeah, I think it's okay. I'll go back, select the previous color, hydro pattern. Let me reduce this by 50 now. So I think this works better for me. I can always adjust this so it doesn't look too abstract. Yeah, so I think this is better. Now I can add. Alright, let me just add a few. That's a good thing about creating um, a group and then reducing the opacity. So you don't have to do it individually. Okay. So let's trace this part. I think we've already done for here. Okay, let's just stop somewhere. Just trace this back. Swap it, then bring it down. So we we'll have to do the same thing for this side too. So I think I want this up a little bit. Yeah. 
do the rest for this side avoid the highlight so when you get here let me do this so when you get here be sure to avoid the highlights so just draw whatever you're seeing simple you might not really follow it the way i'm doing it this new brush calligraphic brush change this to three change this to pressure then change the variation to three that's if you're using pen tablet now i want to add some shapes here to make it look more okay so i have to select this first one that's the color i'll be adding, be adding to the shapes with so let's make Few lines. Do the same thing here. Do the same thing here. It's as simple as that. So let me group this and select new strokes I just made with everything selected I have to change this to a few so objects expand appearance then drag it in here that's all so avoid empty spaces alright okay so you can always adjust Let's add this side too, then we're done. Um, okay. okay. Just trace it out. Okay, so 
so that's it next thing you want to do is to add either your highlight or your shadow so we'll start with the shadow the new layer let's check where our shadow is so we have a little bit here and then here so we can always get this but let's take care of this side first That's it for there. Um, take care of this. Same thing here. Same thing here. Enjoy everything. Just I got try to always make it look real by adding details as much as you can. So select everything. Um, let's group this and then give it a color. So it's time for adjustment. So let's start with this. We are going to be adding another color at the back. So, Ctrl H. Alright. So, let's adjust this and adjust this too. adjustment where you feel there is need for it so you mustn't get it exactly the way it is the first time no but you can always adjust so let's reduce this reduce this okay? Let's reduce this too. We'll be adding a new color layer to smoothing it out. <coughs> Let's adjust this. Let's adjust this too. Alright. Let's adjust this side. adjust make sure it covers the shape and there is a little bit of space in between the reason for the space is because we'll be adding a new color layer so you need that space let's adjust this adjust this too so that we can make space here adjust this Alright, so next up is here.
adjust this. Adjust this. Adjust this. Let's adjust this. That we need the necessary adjustments. Um, all right, so now that we need the necessary adjustment, okay, we need to add the graph. Yeah, we need to add it. to be here Okay, it's coming out great. Just group everything, select your base color, cut out. Cut this out, cut this out. Alright, so let's smooth it out. It has to be below this, just like I've shown you already. So let's get to it. So you have to trace it in between this. Let's reduce this. in between swap this so just follow that same pattern and first then we can always come back and continue sorry Let's add a few stuff here to make it look real. 
All right. I just trace this back. Sorry. Remember to be on this line. If you want, you can exceed. Then you cut it out. So let's swap this. Remember, it has to be below. So control H, group it, and then reduce the opacity by fifty percent. That's just it. Seeing that the colors are not really matching for me, I still have a place that does not look too good for me, so I need to take care of it. I'll show you how I do that, still with the same color I'm using. Let's take care of this down part first. Just drag in your shape and it will automatically reduce the opacity by 50%. Drag this down. What is this? Okay. Let's take care of this. Alright, so we have okay, we have one more place to go. Said, I need to smoothen this out, so I'm going to reduce this by 70%. Then add another color, color layer on top. I'll be reducing the opacity of this. Let's hold the selection to hold. Shift and control, then you can select more than one. Or come over to your direct selection tool, then hold shift and then select any one you want. So this is too bright, so I'm going to use it by 70. Control H. 
Yeah, I think it's works for me. So I'm going to only concentrate on this place. Let me show you what I want to do. Now I want to make this place blend well. Remember it's here. Control H. Remember it's here. So I have to put the color layer below it. So this is a new one that we are creating now. Right, zoom in. Right, so sorry. This is the one we are editing, so. Okay, down to this place. Change this, so you see what they're actually doing. Alright. Now when I switch this, I'm not going to be dragging it into this place. I don't know if we get I'll just leave it here, then reduce the opacity, let's say 65. Sorry. Okay, and try 60. So you see, it looks way better and more realistic now. So, yeah, I'll go with this. Now, just group these two. Then drag it in. So the next thing we want to do is to add one more color layer here to make it look more dark. So let me reduce this. Increase, sorry. I need more space. Alright. These two. I need more space. So, we already know where we need to be adding power. Okay. As I said, remember to always refer to your reference picture. You don't want to struggle with this, just draw it above it and then cut it out. Alright, so this make sure it fits so this one we just created let's give it a dark okay Let's go. 
sini Let me reduce this a bit Alright Try not to get too close And try not to be too far away Adjust it later. Alright, just trace this back, and that's it. So bring it down 50%. Since it's just one shape, if we were to have many, then you can group it. Let's just reduce this. Yeah. Right. Just so you get what you want. Alright, so okay, so the final one. Line, please. Okay, let's do it. Okay. All right. So that's it, guys. Let's drag this in. So you can see the number of <coughs> color layers we have. Now we're not done. <coughs> Excuse me. We have to add what the highlight please very important so the highlight is going to give it that extra real feel so you have to note where your highlight is we have highlights here we have here we have here all right so let's just start we have highlights here Try not to make it too broad. Right? So just a little here. A little here. Then this is where we have the main highlight. So. Always check your picture to know where you can add and where you can't add so we have a highlight here here too Like you need your highlights. Okay. Okay, I'm 
done with this part. So let's take care of the highlights on this side. Okay, so we know that there's highlights here. Sorry. So it starts here. And then you can add the rest. So let's do that. We already know where we should not exceed. Sorry. We already know where we shouldn't exceed. So we have to make sure we are following. Decide to do a little bit of freestyle, add your highlight the way you feel it's going to be okay for your project. So, yeah, this is how I meet my so let's just add here whether there is reference or no reference of highlighting, just add it's going to give more. Um, beauty to your picture. So with everything selected, I drop out to pick this Ctrl H to hide and then double click. Remember to go this way. So I have to go like this. Then increase the saturation. So that's what it looks like. I really don't want it to be this bright for me because I'll be adding another color layer so I can either reduce this a little bit by 70 so I think that works for me now I think I need to add here I don't want to use one highlight please that's why I reduce it now the next thing is, I don't want to have this space here, please, it's wrong, so I want to smoothen it out, so let me show you how I do that, I've drawn the same picture, but now I'm going to reduce it by 50%, I hope you're seeing what happened there, so I'll do the same for this side, Same thing, but reduce it by 50%. So, any part you don't like, use that same color, just reduce the opacity. That's all. Now, group everything. So, our lips look fantastic. So let's adjust this. Necessarily draw it the same way it is, please. It's not really that necessary. So, I think that's it for the down lips. Yeah, this works for me. Um, so I'll just group everything. And for the upper lips, I think I need to increase the highlight. So the last one we made. Okay, let me take this up a bit. 
think I will go for no this works fine so this side yeah so I'll just take it up a bit increase the saturation yeah so guys um this is the upper lip this is the lower lip so let's just drag this one so you have to know how to work with layers very important just know that if you have to make two shapes the one on top is going to overshadow the one below so if you reduce the opacity there is a chance you can get them to blend together so guys this is how you make the realistic leaves in adobe illustrator um not sure if i'll be making a tutorial on how to sketch the skin for this but if i eventually do i'll still post it on my youtube channel here so you guys can watch and probably get to know how to do it so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial